Greetings and salutations, everybody. It's your old pal, Hawkboy. And I wasn't going to do another one of these TV show top tier lists uh, with these lists generated by the AI. Uh, but of course, I had to go and say something stupid like if this video, meaning the 80s video, uh, gets uh, 10,000 hits, I'll do another one. And you guys, uh, you guys are. Uh, you guys love to watch me suffer so here we go we're doing another top tier list today we are looking at 90s tv shows top 10 as generated as determined by ai it spit out this list and uh, looks like a pretty cool list so we're gonna go for it um i think uh there's nothing here that i haven't seen so uh today we left out the have not seen it um uh, uh, tier so we'll see if we even have enough to spread the love. All right, so we got Top of the Heap. We got Watchable. We got Chow Meh. Hey, hey, I found a new meh pet pun. Uh, we got Terribly Tedious and You Can Go Away Now. That's from the uh, the Critical Drinker. I've been maybe watching a little too much Critical Drinker. If you haven't watched this guy, he's pretty good uh, film commentary and stuff like that. All right, let's take it in order. Let's start with Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I've seen the entire run of Buffy Vampire Slayer twice. Pretty good show. Well directed, well made. Uh, I was actually really invested in the characters that were created. Joss Whedon really in his prime. And I don't think really ever uh, as good. Firefly was pretty awesome, but Buffy the Vampire Slayer was the motherfucking bomb, y'all. All right, let's see. ER, ER, terribly tedious. Man, it's really boring stuff. I, I watched a couple episodes and I was like, uh, uh, it, it was, it was. I don't know why I was watching it. Uh, to be honest. Okay, let's see. Next we got. Uh, who was that? Was that George Clooney? That's that one, right? All right. I, I don't want to dwell on it too long. I, I want to keep these videos to eight minutes, so I can't talk about anything for more than a minute. Uh, we got Frasier. Now, I really like Cheers, I really like the character of Frasier, but this was pretty chow meh. It was kind of funny, the episodes I saw, I didn't hate them, but it didn't make me want to jump back into the trough, you know? It wasn't heroin, it didn't make me want to go use a dirty needle in a back alley with some bum. So, if you, yeah, I want a show to really make me want that dirty ass needle, and then, then I know I'm addicted, you know what I mean? All right, let's see. Fresh Prince of Bel Air. I don't like Fresh Prince very much. I felt like a lot of the characters were unlikable. I don't want. I'm just not to go away now. Uh, I found the Fresh Prince to be relatively tedious. I was not a giant fan of the Will Smith's antics. Like I said, most of the other characters, I wasn't sympathetic. I didn't like them. So uh, sometimes you get away with that. But speaking of, let's keep going there. Friends. Friends can go away now. Whenever I'm driving down my street, uh, closing my eyes and, and running over children and other pedestrians, and uh, especially those uh, assholes who are always walking their dogs, whenever I'm running them down on my way to work, I close my eyes and I imagine that they're the cast of Friends. Now, I'm not advocating that you should run over the cast of Friends. Keep that in mind. But it's a nice fantasy, isn't it? All right, next we got Seinfeld. Now Seinfeld is watchable. I, I really liked this show back in the day. I certainly watched a lot of repeats and I probably watched every one when they first came out. Um, I think part of it though, um, uh, I really liked watching all these characters suffer their own hubris. Uh, so I don't know if I was missing the point when I was watching that show when I was thinking, good, good, I hope he suffers. I was always happy to watch somebody suffer. Uh, on Seinfeld. All right, let's see. Sex in the City. That's another one. It can go away. Okay, I watched. Uh, I watched one whole episode with an ex-girlfriend of mine. It was an episode about peeing on uh, uh, where the the main character, uh, Mr. Big, was trying to get her to pee on him, and she was feeling discomfort. And uh, and then that girlfriend that I was seeing at the time wanted to pee on me. Yeah, no, this show and that girl are better off in the rear view mirror. All right, let's see. Let's keep going here. Uh, this one here. It, it's weird to think that this is a, is a 90s show. I think technically, it's, if you take it right from its roots, it's the Tracy Ullman show. 
Uh, it's more like an 80s show, isn't it? Wasn't that 89? I can't remember, but I know Simpsons was uh, dominant in the 90s, and I bloody love The Simpsons. And I love The Simpsons more than Buffy the Vampire Slayer, so it's going on the top of the heap right here. And uh, that's where it's going to stay for now. I was, uh, 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 obviously, it's been a huge part of culture. Uh, not just my life, all the, the entire lifespan of my kids so far. All of my kids, this show has been playing. Okay, let's uh, keep going here with The uh, the Simpsons here. Um, again, who, who, who doesn't know a Simpsons quote? I bet you're thinking of a Simpsons quote right now, aren't you? Uh, I bet you are. All right, let's see. Uh, oh, and also, I think some of the best episodes happened before the year 2000. After 2000, they already invested themselves in most of the big-ass plots. By then, the, the phrase, The Simpsons did it, was already a full-fledged. And there's still another 25 years since then. All right, next one, Sopranos. Man, what an amazing series. The entire series is very rewatchable. Uh, not as good as The Simpsons, though. Sorry, so Sopranos is going right up in here. Really great acting, um, and you know what? Like it's all—it's a shame Gandolfini died. Uh, over the time, it's had such a cult status that I think people would have uh, paid to see Gandolfini reenacting that role or continuing on with that role. Although they, uh, you know, they pretty much imply that he's uh, motherfucking dead at the end of the last series season episode, um, you know. But uh, you know. They could, uh, yeah, they could, what, what do they call that? Uh, they could redcon that shit and uh, change it right back to something else that they really wanted to. And wow, Hollywood making money on reruns and repeats. Maybe it's a good thing that Gandolfini is dead. Maybe we saved him a lot of hassle and having to make bad decisions on that kind of money. Okay, let's keep going here. Last one The X Files. X Files was okay. The first two seasons were okay, and then it just became a big, constant government conspiracy show. I used to—I uh, knew a lot of guys, makeup artists, and even some actors who were on the X Files, and so I had to keep current with this show. Uh, so I watched it long past when I wanted to stop watching it because I couldn't say, "Hey, I, no, I didn't see your new show," and blah blah blah. And I—I I did kind of want to work there, even though I didn't really like it. Um, so. Yeah, I kind of resent the X-Files, and we're going to throw it right here in chow meh territory. All right, that was a lot. Uh, I think I need to go talk to my therapist because, uh, obviously, I've got a lot of issues uh, that are pent up, and I'm thinking about some stuff. Um, and uh, bringing myself back to the 90s may not be the best idea. All right, uh, I passed the eight-minute mark, so I'm just going uh, to stop talking now.